What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Mike Rich, man. What's happening with y'all today? Hope everybody's having a good day today, man. Uh, I'm tired, man. I'm I'm against the clock. I barely even got time to do this video, but I did want to put a video up today, man. Just time been crazy. Got to go get my daughter in a minute. Y'all don't want to hear all that. Anyway, man, finally able to put up this review. I suppose I did it last week, two weeks ago, whenever I got this shoe from Walters. Uh, official name on these is Air Shake Indestruct, a.k.a. Dennis Rodman's. Official colorway is black, white, uh, and team orange, and they retail for $140. And I paid $120. Shout out to Walters for that, man. They always got the great prices going on. Um, was it $120 or 130 I paid 130 I know it was like, no, it was, I think it was 120 Anyway, man, let's go ahead and get into these, man. I showed y'all the shoe. Y'all seen the pickup vlog, if y'all ain't new here. Hey, and bow, man. Yes, sir. The Air Shake Indestruct Dennis Rodman's, man. I don't know if I'm going to put all that in the title or not. That'll be a long title. Um, I know a lot of people don't really know about this shoe, especially my younger subscribers, man. Um, as you can see, I put both of these on. It's like the laces sticking out and stuff. This shoe right here is Dennis Rodman's. Uh, was his only? Was it his only? I think it was a couple more Indestructs came out after that. But this was his first signature sneaker with uh, Nike. I think he had shoes with Converse too. But um, this shoe right here, man, is a classic. And for the one of the main reasons was the 1996 Chicago Bulls, man, with the with the 72 and 10 season. On top of that, man, them winning the championship. Um, against the Seattle Supersonics, which was is the OKC Thunder now, basically, man. It was just a very special time for that team, man. This right here, this right here, and Pippen had the air up tempos, and Jordan had the Jordan Elevens, and um, they just they them boys was like unstoppable. They call them the Unstoppable Bulls that year, and they was just they was sick, man. Dennis Rodman was a kind of a different guy, kind of like you know he used to do weird stuff like well makeup and dresses and changed his hair color, and had a thousand tattoos, which was not, you know, basketball players didn't have a bunch of tattoos like that back in the 90s. They do now. It's like regular, but <clears throat> he was a different guy, and I think that's why this shoe, they did some different stuff, like put the laces on the side right here. His nickname was The Worm, and I don't know, I don't know if there's some of that inspiration came from that. You got like this uh, cog gear right here with a Nike swoosh in it. <clears throat> on the back, you got that orange basketball with that kind of graffiti up under it. Uh, this this one right here is actually all uh, new buck or suede. What is new buck? The whole upper, the um the swoosh, the white swoosh right here is leather. You got the stitching on the back, like I said, the stitching on that gear right here. And then this this um this reminds me of the Ferrari, or the, or the 14. So you got the little circle or the hologram, like the 13s. This is a little circle and with air in it. It doesn't have actual Dennis Rodman branding anywhere on it. I guess that you can say that's his logo right there on the inside and in the back. But he don't he doesn't have a like an actual logo. Um he was wearing these, so I'm pretty sure Nike was had a contract with him for these sneakers, but it just didn't have Dennis Rodman anything. I mean, I guess like I said, that right there. So anyway, man, that team, Dennis Rodman, man, he was known for his rebounds and his defense. He did all when he played for the Pistons and stuff like that, he did other stuff like on offense, but uh the Chicago Bulls specifically got him for his defense, man. I do not have my light on. Let me turn it on. <laughs> Might make a little bit of a difference. Anyway, yeah, y'all can tell I'm kind of like rushing a little bit today, man. I, I got a lot of stuff to do. But anyway, I just want a re quick review on this shoe, man. Talk about it a little bit. Talk about Dennis Rodman. I love that Nike swoosh in the back on the heel, too. A lot of people call these ant bed stumbles, which I think they are fat mid so you know, these can be considered ant bed stumbles. But air, air up tempos, I just specifically don't like that shoe. Just because I call a shoe a stumper, don't necessarily mean I don't like it. You know what I'm saying? I, I own a few stumbles, man. For real, for real. Um, some of them LeBrons over there. Anyway, man, that's this shoe, and I know y'all want to see it on feet, so let me let y'all go in there and check these out on feet, man. Do it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nike Indestruct. Dennis Rodman things, man. Black, white. On feet. Doing it on feet in the house, man. I don't know if y'all can hear it in the background, but we got... Hell of destruction, uh, destruction, construction going on outside, man. It's like the whole construction zone. They build the houses all surrounded by house, man. So too much going on out there. Might be doing a few on feet in the house. Get some ass action, man. Booty. Yes, ah. Uh, walk away. As far as I can go, right here. 
Can't go no further than that, man. In the house, man. Yeah, man, these are dope. I'm going to do it with those, some of those black and white 8 and 9 joggers, and that's going to be it, man. I got to run and go get Harley, y'all. Got to go get the baby. You feel me? Go true the size on these, man. If, if you got wide feet, I guess you can go have a size up. But I, because I, I hear a lot of people saying go up a size. Fine line had these a few weeks ago, and he was telling me to go up a size, man. But, um, and that's the reason why I don't have the white or red ones no more, because I bought 13s and got home, and they were too damn big. And I, they didn't have a 12. So, um, that's when I bought those red, um, suede joints, the Jordan. So, anyway, that's these, man. Check them out with them joggers on. Hold up, I forgot my stump, man. I was just gonna I was just gonna do a transition. Let's do the stump, man. Woo! Hey, woo! Turbo stump! Bow! Yes, sir! Yeah, man. I um I left one shoe kind of loose. I know a lot of people wear them like this. Um to me it make them look more bulkier to wear them loose like this. I'm glad I went back and got the 12 though, because them 13s look so damn long. Um But yeah, I probably work, work mine like this right here. Twins though. And for the people who saw my eight and nine uh jogger unboxing of these right here, um I made a mistake on the sizing. This black pair is the only pair those are extra large. All the rest of them was a 2X. Y'all and yeah, a lot of y'all brought to my attention that these the ones these ones fit the best. And that's probably the reason why, because this is an extra large and the other one was a 2X. So I gotta make sure I get um get extra large in these, man. It look it look better. Yes, sir. Anyway, there's these on feet. A couple more looks at them. Yeah, man. I comment below and tell me what y'all think about these. I know a lot of the younger guys they're gonna be like trash, cause anything they don't know about, anything that's not hype, man. You get a lot of younger guys just trash, garbage, garbage truck juice. You feel me, like? <laughs> Oh no, man! Y'all might like them though. It actually, actually surprised me when I did the unboxing. A lot of, I mean, uh, the pickup vlog. A lot of people said they like them. Round view, man. I ain't gotta worry about no shadows in here, man. It's a little bit better. It's a little bit better, man. Anyway, that's been D's on feet, man. Appreciate y'all for watching this video. Comment below and tell me know what y'all. Uh, look, comment below and tell me what y'all think of these. And um. That's it, man. So y'all hit that thumbs up, like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And keep watching my video, because that's what I'm here for. Go on.